Mm -hmm. I'm doing a full fuel injector service on this 1972 4.5 D-Jetronic V8. And I believe it's always a good idea to replace all these fuel hoses. Look at the wear on this one. And the other problem is uh, the incorrect clamps were used. And sometimes these can cause problems. You can actually tighten these down to where they'll cut into the hose. Sometimes these clamps are fine in certain locations, but because of the pressure in the D-Jetronic fuel system and the potential for engine fire, you want to use the very best quality high pressure fuel hose you can get and you want to use the very best clamps and just replace all these fuel hoses. Now this kit is only for the fuel hoses not related to the short hoses on the fuel injectors. I have another kit for those. The reason I split the kit up was because a lot of times somebody's changed their fuel injector hoses but hasn't changed their other hoses. So the hose I include in the kit is enough to do the seven fuel hoses that are outside the small short hose connected to the fuel injectors. I include the correct size clamps and I need to let you know this is not any kind of normal fuel hose that you would get in an auto parts store. This is a very special high pressure, high reinforced fuel hose that has enough elasticity that you can get it on and off these fittings like this without you know, straining. A lot of times you'll get fuel hose that's so hard you either can't get it on or it goes on and it's not tight. You can see how snug that is. So when you tighten these clamps down, remember you're only getting the clamp tight enough to keep the hose from coming off. It's already sealed properly on this nipple here. So a lot of times people will over tighten these clamps not realizing that's not what's really sealing the fuel. Now, obviously, if you don't tighten enough and you have a little fuel weepage, you can come back and give it a, just another tweak. But generally, you snug these down tight enough so you cannot pull the hose clamp off and you'll be fine. So when you get the kit, you're going to go and do one hose at a time, take the hose off, measure the length, cut the new hose, put the new hose on, and go all around the top of your V8 engine until you've been able to replace all seven of these upper fuel hoses. I'm laughing because I forgot there's a hidden hose. This is the one that probably doesn't get changed and probably causes the most grief for people because you're looking at this T-fitting. Unless you follow it down over to here, you're not going to find out there's another hose under here. And sure enough, this hose... <laughs> hasn't been. Look at the clamp. The clamp is loose. I can almost pull it off without even loosening that clamp and I'm pushing on this hose and it feels rotten. We're going to go ahead and take this one off just to show this as, as an example. So I have to make a correction. <laughs> I tore my glove trying to get down there. I have to make a correction. There are eight hoses that you'll have to replace and 16 hose clamps in the kit. I think you're going to get to see here why no one ever replaces this fuel hose. Let's see if we can snake it out of there. Look at that. Okay, let's take a close look at this. Well, look at that. This is a disaster waiting to happen. And uh, if this doesn't prove my point about the importance of changing all the fuel hoses in your old D-Jet engine, I don't know what will. I decided to pull these fuel regulators off the top of the intake manifold just to clean underneath and to get the hoses changed. And I noticed right away that this hose is not correct. <laughs> For one thing, it's almost collapsed, literally collapsed. Now, how do you think that's going to affect performance. Well, obviously the previous owner couldn't find the original hose and made one out of straight hose. This is what the original hose looks like. And this came off another 4.5 engine I had. So you can see it's a custom hose designed to be bent at even a little more than 90 degrees. Hose doesn't look bad, should I reuse it? Absolutely not. Every old hose has to go on these old D-Jetronic engines. Here's another good example why. 
So how can I fix this without getting this special hose? Might be even impossible to find. Well, enter my solution for kinked hoses. We put a coil wire on the hose and we can literally bend it 90 degrees or beyond 90 degrees without it collapsing. So the solution here is going to be put a new hose on there and you can see now that we can bend that 90 degrees and the hose will not collapse. Because of what I found here, I'm going to go ahead and provide some of this coil wire in my hose kit because you can use it for sharp bends, but you can also use it as an anti-chafing protection for any hose that might rub against something when the engine's running. So this will also be included in my hose and clamp kit. This is really something. This is the last clamp for all these fuel hoses I've replaced on this DJetronic V8 engine. Remember, when you tighten these down, you tighten them down until you start to feel resistance in the screwdriver and then stop. Do not over tighten them or you'll cut in the hose. You can see here that special spring I've put on the short hose to keep from kinking it. And now we have all eight fuel hoses installed, all 16 hose clamps. Take a look at this whole setup. Doesn't that look nice? So if you're thinking that maybe your D-Jet engine does not need new fuel hoses, take a look at this. This is everything that we have replaced that's made of rubber in that 4.5 liter V8. And you've heard the story before, rubber parts don't last. I found it's usually about 18 years, everything goes south. But most of these old D-Jet cars are, you know, 40 plus years old. And look at what we found. We found some potential, very possible fire hazards here. Old, soft, rotten hoses. Some of these short hoses for the fuel injectors were cracked. Look at the seals. We probably had air leaks, intake air leaks in the fuel injection system. So I hope this is a visual picture of why you need to do this service on your DJetronic engine.